Hello there, I'm Colonel Failure and this is a Train 9 version 3. Uh, it's a dark and stormy night and uh, our goods trains are out serving their uh, their purposes. Now, what have I done? Um, so, I replaced the old factory that we had with a new one. Um, what I'd found was sending the, the, uh, the goods trains out every night... Uh, every night of the week, including weekends, meant that, uh, that there would occasionally be situations where the, the goods trains were empty because factories don't work at weekends. So uh, now every, tr uh, every goods train we have uh, gets a night off and nobody works on Sundays. And that, ideally, it means that, uh, that the factory never runs out of goods. So as you can see, here we are Friday night. This train here is staying put. Um, uh, for the most part, growth is still working quite nicely for us. Uh, you know, we've got uh, a good stockpile of goods in every city. Uh, and in fact, I might turn off the, the good supply to some of the, the, the more established districts. So here's uh, District 1, which is Woking. Uh, down here is District 3, uh, which is as yet unnamed. But uh, maybe it gets a name in the future, maybe it doesn't. But it's also, you know, it's got a full stack of supplies there. So, yeah, maybe there's there's not enough room for, for it to grow any further. It should do. There's still plenty of houses that can, you know, upgrade to tower blocks. So, it's it's just waiting for the right moment. Let's have a quick look at energy. Yeah, okay. So, we're tapped out on energy at the moment. So, I might stick a, uh, another energy plant in. Uh, in fact, there's room there. And I've got the resources. Let's, uh, let's bang in another solar. Uh, I might save up for, for one of the, the high-end more expensive systems in the future. You'd have thought you could probably get a building on there. You can. That's going to be relatively high land value. I might put a subsidiary there at some point. Okay, I'll leave that alone. Where shall I put it? Can we get one there? No, I don't want to put it there. What about here? Are you in range? Yes, you are. Right, okay, good. Uh, okay, so with the uh, the energy now now back in... Hopefully that should see a bit of growth. Uh, city information, where are we? 2,458 somethings live in our city. Brilliant. Uh, balance sheets uh, are always going to be misleading because of the amount of uh, of share dealing I do from time to time. Um, but, you know, you can forgive me that, right? We, you'd rather see something success, succeed than fail. So we've made 300 million profit this year, largely down to my, my share wheeling and dealing. Railroad services is a little bit uh, disconcerting, but I bought new trains. I think I did that this year. Interesting. Certainly, the uh, the the loss that uh, that the good services are running, they're a means to a means to an end. Uh, you know, we need to deliver these goods in order to get the city areas to grow. Uh, so I'm okay with taking a loss on that, providing our passenger services stay wealthy, and they really do. Uh, where are we? What day are we? In? We're in Sunday. Okay, so at seven seven thirty in the morning. All of those, all of those, these three uh, trains will take off, and uh, and we'll see. Oh, here we go. What kind of passenger numbers here, fifteen hundred. And as you can see, look, you know, it, it's uh, on its first leg. They all make a profit. Uh, not a massive profit on their own, but this is you know on a daily basis they're making ten, fifteen, twenty thousand. Uh, profit each. Set uh, so you. If you land, then uh, there we go. See, thirty-six. So that's like you know, it's getting on for seventeen thousand profit. Um, and that's cool. That's exactly what we want to see. Uh, that's that's what will drive us forward. And uh, and we need more trains doing just that. Obviously, some trains are more profitable than others, or some actually, it's some departure stations are more profitable than others. Uh, but, and here's the here's the balancing act that you have to get your head around in a train. You will pick up high taxes based on the on the subsidiaries you own, on the land that you own. Uh, that will generate high levels of uh, of income tax that you have to pay on on property tax, and that's fine, providing your uh, your kind of income taxable services so money that's actually coming in is uh, is offsetting that amount um, and at the moment it's not so I'm toying with the idea here we are down in district 4 which is our kind of new build 
it's uh, it's got a nice big supply yard, but obviously it's not getting supplies in at the at the pace that it needs right now. So this is going to be something of a slow burn build up this area, and uh, and I'm tempted to uh, to stick a passenger route to stick a fourth passenger train on now to make that work. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'll stick a fourth passenger train on now to connect it up to the network. Now, the timetabling is going to be challenging. Let's try it. You know, if you don't do anything challenging, how do you expect anything to work? Right, okay, passenger, one of these. Uh, I think we're running sixes, aren't we? 1080, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, here we go. Splendid. Uh, actually, I shouldn't have done that. What I should do is I should edit one of the existing trains. Uh, let's slow it up. You're going the right way. Uh, and then what we can do is obviously after... No, you're going the other way. That's cool. Um, after it's uh, after I've completed this one, I can copy its route and, uh, and paste it directly onto everything else. So let's hit the timetable assistant. Up the tempo a little bit. Uh, we'll keep it going on the route that it has been doing. Hold on, straight. Is that where we want to go? The branch takes it that side. Now we are working on everything traveling on the right, so yes, take the branch, please. Uh, and what do we want? Instead, uh, at the moment, it's going. Oh, well, I know, no, this is new, isn't it? So, right, going straight, weekdays only. Uh, Departure time, 7.30, uh, and one hour stop, one hour, not one hour, five, thank you, and then last train, 11 p.m. Uh, are we happy with that? Yes, continue. Okay, right, now let's have a quick look at these points. I can't actually get a good look round a corner. We want to go round the outside here. So that means we want to switch onto there, go around here, and on that one. Okay, that leads a potential head-to-head -head situation there. I'm not keen on that. Oh no, we've got some points there. Okay, straight. All right, you can go straight. Right, and then at this one, we don't want you to go straight, we want it to take the branch. And then take the branch. At those points, we want you to swing into this side, please. So uh, branch it. Uh, I don't know. Nope, straight. And then reverse. And as per usual, 7.30 takeoff on a departure time. I don't know why I'm using aeroplane terminology. Uh, just, you know, roll with it. Uh, a one hour stop, last train, 11 p.m. So what I might need to do is uh, is change the, the, the timetable for the goods train that comes into here. Okay, good. All right. Where are we? Thursday. All right, so we're going to watch it go on Friday. Here comes the goods train now. 7.30 in the morning is when we leave. It's currently 4 a.m. Why is the goods train trying to come in here? That is incredibly unhelpful. Oh. oh just, just brilliant. Just Thanks for that. Turn around. Go on. Go home. Fabulous. Thanks for that. Uh, no, not that one. Close the timetable system. This one. Follow mode, please. It was five that we were looking at. Right, we ought to we ought to fix that good strain where we still can. It was three, I believe. Uh, quick follow mode. Timetable assistant, too late, you've left it too late, you've left it too late. Close the timetable assistant, let's uh, let's do it tomorrow, let's hope it runs on a Saturday. Uh, continuous. 
obviously this bit it already gets right, so that's okay. In fact, is this, is this even the right train? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so it does remember the instructions you've given it historically, uh, which is fine. Thank you. Right, we'll grab it. Uh, hopefully it will do uh, a, a Friday night, Saturday morning kind of a run, um, in, in which case we can uh, we can get that going into a side of the, the platform that is uh, the, a side of the station that is that is not uh, unharmonious. No, typically Saturday nights it's night off. All right, let's uh, rip it forward. There we go. Monday night, please. Off we go. Fine, fine, fine. Yep. Right. Okay, right, here we go. So, instead of going up the branch, let's go in straight. Oh, no, I set that wrong. Oh, for God's sake. All right, going to have to do it again. You're now on the wrong side of the track, so you have to take a branch. That's okay. Uh, okay, you're, you're fine all the way back to base. Uh, let's follow it. We'll try it again tomorrow night and set the, uh, the station instructions correctly. Hold on, what's going on here? We've got a log jam there. I need to look at that. Quick follow my timetable system, please. Too late again. Oh, one could easily lose one's mind. Keep an eye on the clock. Follow mode. Quit. Timetable system at the ready. Slow it down. Quit following the timetable system. Right. <clears throat> I swear to you, I'll get this right in a minute. Straight on. And then when you get to the station, we reverse and we unload and you wait for an hour before... Well, we'll just go for... Yeah, let's go 45 minutes. Wait for 45 minutes before turning around. Right. Why do I wait for 45 minutes before turning around? Because I have seen trains try and leave immediately and then uh, be unable to do so. All right, let's follow it back to base. Go figure out why we've got a log jam at the other end. And I imagine it's because I've taken that passenger service out of this correct sequence. The, the fun of this game is going to be is going to definitely be uh, sequencing um, uh, timetables to make sure that things work. I mean, look at this. This has just basically snarled up the whole thing. Number two, turn around. Right, that should unblock everything. Oh no, you're going the wrong way as well. Right, so number one, turn around. That should unblock everything. Where are you going? Why are you both... You're not. You're, you aren't both trying to come to the same side of the station. All right, let's turn you round. Turn around. Okay, that's one of them unhooked. Oh, hello again. All right, you turn around. Go on. Let's slow it right down. You turn around. Off you go. Now, hopefully, at some point, you'll figure out how to get onto the right side of the track. We ought to follow you, really, shouldn't we? Because you're driving on the left. Right, let's uh, get the mate here. Let's turn him around. Right, uh, quick follow mode. Go follow the other one. Turn around. There we go. That should have everybody at least facing the right direction now. Let's follow. Of course, everything is now woefully out of sequence. Yeah, okay. Why are you both trying to use the same side of the track? Just because that's how things work. 
Uh, no, let's let's back you up. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Let's take you off the track. There we go. So that's gone in the right side because... Uh, actually, let's take you off as well. Remove. Right, then as soon as that moves, we're on a Saturday, so nothing... Ah, so if nothing's moving, let's slow it right down. If nothing's moving, then this affords us an opportunity to actually get trains where we want them. Yeah? Okay. Pretty sure you come down this side. Let's place you here. Uh, let's turn you around. have one going into District 4. Where are we? Still Saturday. That's good. Trains don't run on a Saturday. I'm fine with that. Uh, where are we? Number 6. Place you here. Now this is, I mean, you know, this is not going to be the uh, the, the solution to our, uh, our woes. So you're going that way. So if we put one here... Oh, yeah, let's just put it there. There we go. Alright. Optimistic. Let's see how we get on. Monday morning will tell us whether we've uh, completely hosed this. And to be honest, it's an easy fix. The the, the 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 fix of the two trains colliding on this section here is is as simple as uh, as setting bespoke takeoff times, takeoff times, departure times uh, from these two from both District One, District Four, um, and that way you can make sure they can share this piece of track here without ever colliding. So we'll just keep watching from a distance and see if we uh, if we bump into any any drama. There we go, drama, bumped into drama. Why are you both using the same piece of track? That shouldn't be the case. Oh, because you're waiting to go up there. All right, sick. Oh, great, it's happening again. Come on, can we place you cleanly? Nope. Alright, let's wait for nothing. Let's not wait for anything. Let's just put it in. Have we hit another collision? Of course we have. You're going that way. You're all going the opposite way. Okay, this is, you know, this is a problem that's going to continue happening until I build a circuit. Once a circuit's built... Uh, all of these problems go away. And you notice how it was working, but then the second we decided to add an extra an extra station into the mix, it stopped working. Right, you. Where, what day are we on? Saturday. All right, get me through to uh, <clears throat> Sunday. If we're going to run a fourth train down here, we need to fix this. And what I don't want is that each train only leaves once per day. That's just a. I mean, that's a terrible way to do it. I mean, it would work, but it's a terrible way to do it. And again, once we're we're running trains in, uh, uh, follow that train. Um, okay, so that was down. The, this one is not our, our prototype for the. Uh, Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Quick follow mode, timetable assistant. Uh, right. Yep, as you were. Except here, instead of reverse, you carry on straight. Okay, onwards. Carry on straight. Take a branch. 
Straight. No, 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 no. We got that wrong. Uh, I'd like to turn the train around, please. Pause. Close timetable assistant. Turn around. Pause. Timetable assistant. On we go. Take the branch. Take the branch. There we go. Okay, right. Do we want to go straight? No, we don't. We want to branch off here and then carry on straight. And when you get here, turn around. Smashing. Seven thirty in the morning and an hour stop each time. Thank you. Everything happy weekdays. Right, which way do you want to go? Uh, we want to take the branch here. So obviously I can't solve these problems with um, with signals, which is something that you know I, I mention regularly, but uh, I'm going to continue mentioning regularly. What we can do is fix potential problems with timetables. Departure time straight, getting on and off, yeah, 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 all of that is fine. And from here on, you should know exactly what you're doing. Let's just make sure. Let's get to 7.30 in the morning. Make sure you know what you're doing. Yep. Really? That's... Uh, maybe that's not what I wanted to do. Did I have a choice? Yes, I did have a choice, and I chose wrongly. Okay, right. Uh, pause. Close the time system. Turn around. See, right, turn around again. Oh, for the love of God. This, I uh, guess, this should be, this should be far less pain inducing than it is. Came into the right side of the station. The, the problem there, I brought it out of that station in the wrong direction. My fault. It happens. Here we go. Follow that train. All right, all the way down to the deep end. Are you going to have enough time in the day to come back again? I think you just might, yes. Okay, right. Quick follow mode, timetable system, please. I did. I, I had a feeling that this would this would be a, a full episode of, of routing. Take a branch. There we go. Then you go straight. And that's it. Now you're on the right side of the track. And now you know where you're going. Okay. Right. Okay. So let's uh, let's leave this running at full speed with just one train on. Uh, follow it, and let's see if we uh, if we encounter a situation where we get blocked by a goods train. And obviously it's the weekend again. Monday morning, here we go. Shuttling away. Interesting. Okay, so that's that's something worthy of study. I'm only I'm only going. It's only a vague notion at the moment. Is how many stations does it hit in a day? If it hits an even number of so, if it doesn't jump, let's say you've got four stations. Let's say uh, it goes one, two, three, four, and then five. And if it can do that in a day, that's problematic. However, it goes if it goes one, two, three, four in a day, and you've only got four stations, then that's not an issue. Or am I just making up problems that aren't really there? Okay, right. This looks like it's it's running smoothly enough. Not seeing any issues with goods trains getting in the way, which is going to lead to our uh, our next dramatic uh, 
move, which is uh, adding a second train. And we'll add one at a time until they're all working. I don't think maybe maybe I'm uh, you know I'm I'm living a dream and uh, and there is no chance that they all work. Yeah, the the problem's going to come. I'm almost certain of it. If the gap isn't sufficient for uh, it could just be a, something as simple as making each train stop at each station for a little bit longer. Okay, right. Well, let's uh, let's slow back down again. Uh, right, I want to quit following you. I want to copy that, and let's paste it onto four. Paste. Did I paste it onto four? Do we think? All right. Place this train going in the other direction, please. There we go. You head out there. You should have time to get in before 7 a.m. Why you're on the wrong side of the station, I don't know. Still, you're going the right way. Okay, follow that train. Let's see how we get on. Yep, see, you've gone in the wrong side of the station. Idiotic. Quit follow mode, remove the train. You, there are problems with your timetable. Brilliant. Just what I wanted to see. Right, it's coming in the opposite direction. You go onto the wrong side of the platform. Why? Slow it down. Where are we? That looks okay, I think. No, it's not. This is the one we actually want to change. So let's uh, quit the follow mode. Go timetable assistant when ready. All right. Points. Branch. Everyone drives on the right. You know this. Parch time, 7.30. I think you'd probably have guessed that by now. Actually, it's kind of cool that uh, that it invites you to change the departure time depending on which side of the platform it comes in. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, then from here you should be fine. Uh, straight on those points? Yes, straight on those ones. Then take the branch. Then take the branch. Yeah, okay. Right. Copy. Paste it on the four. Right, and then let's place four. Turn around. There we go. I want you on there somewhere, please. Turn around. There we go. We've left it a bit late. We'll probably have to wait for the weekend. And it's tempting to engineer uh, engineer two trains together to see if we uh, if we manage to trigger a collision off that, um, but uh, ideally that shouldn't happen. So I'm not going to do it deliberately. I'm going to wait for this train to come back the other way, and then I'll stick this. Actually, the train's not going to come back the other way for a couple of days. So let's put you on here. There we go. Right. Okay. Good. Follow that train. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Now, obviously, they're both they're going to take off in different directions, so uh, so that any collisions that do happen won't happen for a for a couple of minute, minutes. But uh, well, maybe it's going to maybe in a couple of days. But we'll find out in due course. Here we go. Seven a.m. and we're off. What's your pickup? How many have you actually picked up? 185. It's barely worth it, but I'm, I, you know, I, I'm hopeful that it will help to generate a bit more demand in uh, in District Four. Okay, right. 
that's fine. Now, let's see where they pass on the following day. I'm, I'm really hopeful I can get four trains running on here. And again, all these problems just disappear as soon as I manage to get a, a circuit completed because uh, uh, there shouldn't ever be a, an instance where two trains are going in opposite directions down the, down the same platform, down the same bit of track. I mean, there are some there are some shared back and forth track sections, but with the right timing, that shouldn't ever be a problem. And I can't recommend enough four platforms, uh, four platform stations. Maybe even three would cover it, uh, as long as you haven't got any kind of fly through goods trains uh, in order to to get your goods going. Okay, right, we've run this for a couple of days. So far, no head-to-head -head incidences. Alright, okay, we're going to chance it. Right, uh, let's... Uh, let's uh, Copy clear. I want to copy it again just to be on the safe side. Paste it onto this one. Alright, where are we? Thursday. We got time? Yeah, we got time. Bang that in there. Follow that train. <clears throat> and it's all going to come down to the timings of the uh, of the the trains getting in and out of those. Uh, those districts that have uh, a single shared piece of track, like that section there. I mean, I could potentially fix that, but uh, I just remember the, the trauma it was to get it to work in the first place. Uh, let's go a little bit faster and, uh, and watch this happen. It's the weekend again. Right, let's get past the weekend. Thank you. go we're off coming back and actually if it came down to it if the if the gap was too short I could fix that by just changing the the wait time at the station to an hour and a half or to even an hour and five minutes might do it that's exactly how you're going to solve it because basically if every train is leaving the station at the same time uh, and they can get to their destination then there will never be a collision. Okay, cool. Right, we're going to put down number four. Copy clear. Let's copy that one. Paste it onto this one. Right, now, where do I want it to place? We're going to have to slow down, obviously. 2 a.m. Right, so what I'll do... Actually, where's the next train? Next train isn't at that station. Right, I want it here at 7... Oh, slow down. That's it. I want you there, ready to rock as soon as that train... In fact, I could probably set it running now, and it wouldn't get in. No, 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 no. You, you, come on, you were going the right way. There we go. So that won't happen usually because it'll have left the previous station. This is the real challenge, though. We take off from here. Again, I don't think that was correct alignment. We won't know until the following morning. This is actually quite good fun to watch. Um, okay, right. Let's turn you round really quick. Let's turn you round. Where's the turn round button? It's, it's there. Look, turn round. And turn around again. You've now gone the right way. Why are you on the wrong side of the track? I don't think it is on the wrong side of the track. Let's turn it around. Let's take you off. Tricky, isn't it? Let's take you off. 
Okay, what, what I want to do, if I, you know, if I use my brain here, what I should do, I should place at a weekend. So that everything starts in a station. Right, you're starting from that one. Uh, which means we can start from the, start one from the next one. I think I've got a train facing the wrong way somewhere. Uh, place, please. No. No, yeah. Remove everything. Remove it. Take it away. Take it away. Right. <clears throat> We've got time. It's still Saturday. We've got time. Make sure you get to your destination. And as long as you don't come back out, it means I got that right. Good. Okay. And then let's put the next one in here. can't place it when it's going over points. That's kind of annoying. Turn it around. There we go. Right, that's those two. Let's, uh, where are we? Sunday, 6 a.m. Hurry up. Turn it around. Go on, quick, quick, quick. And then one on this one. As long as you get in before 7.30, we're all good here. Okay, right. Here we go. Four trains in stations ready to go at uh, rush hour. Do I think it will work? Uh, I could believe that it would or wouldn't. Neither would surprise me. I certainly believe that the theory is sound as to why it should work. Okay, there was a pause there. Not a catastrophic one, though. And as long as all these are still registering passengers... Should be okay. I would have expected to see a train on the opposite side there. There we go. Problem. What's gone wrong here? Quit follow mode. Quit follow mode. Why are you on the wrong track? Yep, you're all going to get jammed up as well. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, quite an epic episode of uh, of how not to do it. I think what I'm going to actually do is um, I'm going to complete the circuit, right? And even if that means that there are, there is some areas that don't have stations yet, I'm going to get that completed. I'm going to I'm going to stop market my ass off in order to get there and. Uh, then we'll see if we can get an actual circuit running. Um, it might be that we only go clockwise rather than going clockwise and anti-clockwise, but fundamentally, this is... Uh, I think this is doomed to failure. We were running three reasonably well. I don't think the fourth is going to work um, until such a time as uh, I, you know, fix it. So, uh, thank you for tuning in today. Uh... Hopefully this has been an interesting exercise in getting it horribly wrong. Um, uh, next time, we're going to see if we can do an interesting exercise in getting it horribly right. Uh, why not join me then and, uh, and see how we get on. Thanks very much. I've been Colonel Cheerio.